this apple cinnamon pull apart bread is one of the tastiest and easiest breads that we can make at home the bread is so incredible with a blend of flavors of both an apple pie and a soft light and moist cinnamon bread and each of those layers is filled with the aroma of cinnamon and bits of succulent apple pieces in between and the bottom of the bread is like it's been dipped in a thick caramel sauce though this bread is wonderfully delicious the method and recipe is super simple so in this video let's see how to make this apple cinnamon pull apart bread in four simple steps To make the bread dough, we'll need only six basic ingredients, flour, water, butter and some salt and sugar to add taste and yeast as a leavening agent and for the filling, some sugar, butter, cinnamon powder and apple. So as the first step, let's prepare the dough. Into a bowl, I'm adding some lukewarm water, water which is not cold nor hot but just slightly warm. Into this, I'm adding sugar, salt, and yeast. I mix until they get to salt. And then I'm adding butter. The butter I'm using is soft so that it will be easy for us to blend them all together. And now adding flour into this and using the rare end of this wooden spoon, I'm mixing them all together to form a shaggy mass of dough. And now transfer this dough onto a clean work surface and we need to knead the dough. This dough is an easy to knead dough but in the beginning of kneading it will be slightly sticky and that's okay. At this point we may get tempted to add more flour into this but don't do that. Just continue to knead and you will see all those extra moisture will get absorbed in about five to six minutes and will get a soft and smooth dough. Dust the surface with some flour and place the dough ball and then with a rolling pin just flatten the dough ball so that it form a disc shape. And now cover it and leave it for 5 minutes and this is not for proofing the dough but this will give some time for the gluten stands to relax and this will prevent its tendency to rebound back while we roll the dough. And after 5 minutes, our dough is now ready for the second step that is to shape our bread. So dust the work surface and the top of dough with enough flour so that our dough will not stick to the surface and to the rolling pin. And now roll it into a rectangle of approximately 5 to 6 mm thick. And now it's time to add our filling. So spread the soft and salted butter evenly on top. Here I'm adding the cinnamon powder with sugar and mix them together. And sprinkle it evenly on top.
And now let's add the diced apples on top. And for baking this bread, it's better to use apples that are tart and sweet and that has a crisp texture so that it will not get very soft when baked. And now divide this rectangle into four strips. And now we are going to stack them all. As we have applied butter on our dough, it's very soft and tender to handle. So fold it like this from both ends and we'll find it so easy to transfer. And now again divide this along and pick a strip into four equal parts and place them onto a greased baking pan. And now our bread dough is ready for the third step of proofing the dough. So wrap it loosely with a cling film so that they have enough space to expand and rise. And after 60 minutes of proofing, our dough has risen well and they look so puffy and beautiful. It's now ready to go into the oven. So place it into a 350 Fahrenheit or 180C preheated oven and bake for 45 to 48 minutes. And after baking, we'll get a loaf of bread that smells amazing. And let the bread sit in the pan itself for about 15 to 20 minutes. The steam which is entrapped within the bread will help to complete the baking, which is also called the residual baking. And also this will help our bread to set and hold its shape when we take it out of the pan. And now it's been 20 minutes. I'm taking it out. It's still slightly warm. You can see the bottom of our bread has a thick caramel sauce. It has that compound flavors from the moisture of apples, the brown sugar and cinnamon powder. And this decadent apple bread does not necessarily need a glaze. But if you want to make it look more festive and if you like them more sweeter, you can add glaze. This bread is ultra moist, soft and fluffy and light as cotton and has an amazing cinnamon flavor and each of these layers of bread is studded with juicy bits of apples. And I hope you like this recipe, hope you found this recipe simple and easy to make and I hope you will make this at home and I'm sure you will love this bread. And if you like this video, please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love homemade bread. And thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.